Hello, I'm Teresa Wright Johnson, founder and executive director of Zarya Song. But first, I'm a mom, and that's what got me into this path or work. I consider a mom a multiple operational manager. <laughs> By show of hands, how many of you know someone that has a child with a special need? Thank you. My daughter Zaria Lassiter was born with various special needs, such as cerebral palsy, seizure disorder, something called mitochondrial syndrome, and developmental disabilities. When she was born, they told us she would neither, probably not, eat, walk, or talk. However, she did all of those things. In fact, she was a special needs model. Unfortunately, about 10 years ago, Zaria went to school on a regular day. Her school called and said she seemed congested. However, she was having a seizure. They didn't know she was having a seizure. So I went to pick her up, but she didn't come home that day. She died from a seizure at school. To honor Zaria, I started Zaria's song. We named it Zaria's song because Zaria loved music. In fact, she would sing every day on her special needs school bus. Also, we have a model here at Zaria Song called Every Parent and Every Child Has Their Own Song or Story. At Zaria Song, we focus on support, advocacy, leadership training, and of course, developing leaders. One thing that we do is we host monthly support group meetings for parents. We offer training in advocacy skills, special needs skills, and educational placement. We also offer something very important, CPR and first aid training. One of the things that we do well too is we help develop other leaders to go and do this work as parent leaders. Over the past 10 years, we've helped over 500 parents, over 1,000 students and, students and children, and we have trained and supported and placed over 20 parent leaders throughout the state of Georgia. Not only that, we've partnered with various organizations, both locally in our county and within our state, that also support children with special needs. We do this by support groups, training, conferences, and just one-on-one -on -one help with some of these organizations. These are a few of them. And that's me and some of my wives. We are currently looking for $50,000. This will enable us to help 60 parents for the next six months in an advocacy program. We will provide them with special needs training, which we're very qualified and certified to do. We will also provide them with information and resources to support them as parents of children with special needs, such sometimes as self-care and such. And we will also provide leadership training to more leaders to enhance and grow our work. That's less than $1,000 per parent. Maybe you're not able to or you're not wanting to do the $1,000 right now. However, I'm touched because Zaria would have been 20 years old in three days from now. So I've been doing this work really for 20 years because when I found out Zaria had a special need, this is when I started learning about advocacy and helping special needs families and children. So our 20 for 20 program will allow you to support us by donating only $20 a month. And that will support our families that have children with special needs at our support groups and more. Or you can support us by doing an annual donation of $200 a year. Hey, but I'm a nonprofit, so all donations are appreciated and accepted. This is a little blurry up here, but I want to close with this. Until you have a kid with a special need, you have no idea of the depth of your strength, tenacity, and resourcefulness. 
I want you to not pity or think parents that have children with special needs are weak or to you know, feel any shame in regards to that. Those parents such as myself are resilient and strong. With your support to Zaria Song, we would be able to help more parents get the supports they need, and in fact, we could even sa save a child's life. Thank you for your time and listening. All right, big round of applause. I'm trying. <laughs> Amazing. Yet another incredible parent uh, who has channeled the work into action. Um, questions for Teresa. Any questions? Questions for Teresa about her work. No questions? OK. Uh, Deborah? I'm curious, how do you find the parents? So how do you find the parents that you work with, Teresa? Thanks for asking. The way we find our parents is I, um, as well as my team, we are connected to various local and state organizations that refer parents with children with special needs to us. So that is one way. We also work with um, several public school systems. And we start with early childhood. So we actually start teaching parents about um, early intervention training. I'm um, certified in early intervention. And so we are connected with the statewide early intervention team that also helps diagnose children with special needs. You. You're welcome. Thank you for your question. Yes, question up here. The, the parents, the other parents, the 20 leaders, um, this is such a neat community. How, how are they supported by you and with each other to continue to do what they're doing? How do you support other parents? How I support those other parents is this is not work we can do alone. And so many of the organizations that I'm connected to, they are now leaders in those organizations. For instance, one of them was Parent to Parent of Georgia or the Georgia Parent Support Network. So they get the training, such as me. They're a certified parent peer specialist. So what I learn, they learn so they can go help other parents. Any other questions? Amazing. Can we give a big round of applause to Teresa Zaria Song. Thank you so much. Keep going.